Ben Briscoe here with developing news this evening. CBS confirms late this afternoon the Pentagon shut, shot down an unidentified object over the coast of Alaska that was at the order of President Joe Biden. Now it's not clear if this is another spy balloon from China. We do know this one was smaller and flying a little lower in the sky. The investigation is still ongoing, but this comes as we're digging into new details about the balloon that crossed the nation, including what it could have picked up as it passed right over North Carolina. Looking up at it from the ground, it's really hard to tell how big this thing actually was. But check out this new photo. Now that it's in pieces at the FBI lab, you get a true sense of the balloon scale next to those guys. It's huge. And we always knew that the balloon could see what was happening on the ground from its cameras. Now investigators have learned it also had devices to hear what was happening by hacking into our communication networks. And it's pretty scary what they tried to eavesdrop on. This is a test of one of the intercontinental ballistic missiles housed in silos in Montana. The Pentagon says the Chinese were apparently trying to listen in on the communications that were used for the command and control of our nuclear weapons. Something a senator from Montana pressed the Pentagon about at a hearing on Capitol Hill. You guys have to help me understand why this baby wasn't taken out long before. We think before we shoot. Pentagon officials said they considered shooting it down over a remote part of Alaska, but were concerned even then about casualties. At that time, we didn't understand through the modeling if we shot that, what it would do on the ground. And the State Department revealed that similar Chinese spy balloons have flown over 40 countries on five continents. Officials say the Chinese military uses a fleet of high-altitude balloons as a cheap alternative to satellites.